Welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to make a traditional granny square. I'm going to be using a DK Colour Crafter acrylic yarn in colour 1080 and a 4mm hook. So we're going to start off, I'm going to be using a double magic circle. If you're not sure how to make one, I'm going to put the link in the video below, uh, in the description below. And uh, there are a couple of ways to make a granny square. I'm going to call this method A. Yeah, and you might see it sometimes called with chains. So when we make a double magic circle, I always start with one chain. So we're going to be starting um, our rows in the corners of the square. Okay, so here's a, a granny square. And we always start and finish our row in the corner okay so what we're going to do is we chain we chain two to get the height so we've already made one chain we're going to make a second chain to get the height and then we make two chains for the corner one two so we always start around with four chains we're then going to make three uh, US doubles, UK trebles, and I'll put the link for the video for those stitches below, that stitch below. So we're going to make three of them. So that's one, two, three. We then chain two, one, two, to make the next corner. And we're going to make three more stitches. One, so that's US doubles, UK trebles. Two. And three. And then we're at the next corner. So we're going to chain two. One, two. And then we're going to make three more stitches. One. Two and three. So at the next corner, so we chain two, one, two, and we're going to make three more stitches, and that's going to be our fourth set. One, two. Now, some people use that first chain we made as the third stitch. I'm going to make a third stitch. Three. So now we need to tighten our circle. So we're going to give the tail end a little tug, see which one tightens. Yeah, this one's tightened, so we're going to pull it tight. Be careful with your yarn if it's delicate yarn. And then we're going to pull the tail end. So now that that's, that's done. And then we're just going to slip stitch across into that chain space we made at the beginning. So we're going to take the hook through. We're going to pull the yarn through and then through the loop on the hook. And that's round one. And we're now going to start round two. So we're going to chain four. One two, three, four. And that's two for the height and two for the corner. We're then going to make three stitches. Same as before, US doubles, UK trebles. One. Two. And three. We chain one. And we're going to go into the next corner. We're going to do three stitches. One. Two. And three. We're going to chain two. And we're going to do three more stitches in that same space. So back into the same space. One. Two. 
through and three. So that's our first corner, complete corner that we've done on that round, as you can see. And the corners are always the same. Three stitches, chain two, three stitches. And then along the edge, we do a chain one in between each set of granny stitches. So these one, two, three stitches is a set of granny stitches. So into the next corner, we're going to do three stitches, chain two, three stitches. So one, two, and three. Chain two, one, two, and then three more stitches in that same corner. One, two, and three. So that's our second corner. We're going to chain one and move across to the next corner. So we're going to do the same thing, three stitches, chain two, three stitches. One. Oh, I just want to get some yarn. So that's one, two, and three. Then we're going to chain two, one, two, and three more stitches in the corner. One. two and three. That's our third corner complete. So we're going to chain one and we're now back into the first corner where we started. So like I said, some people use this as the third stitch. We're not. We're going to make three stitches in there. Make sure you go into the corner from round one and not into the space from round two. Yeah, so we're going to yarn over, go into that corner, pull the yarn through. So that's one. Oh, my yarn's getting a bit tight. Hold on. Two. And the third stitch. Oops. My yarn split. Let me start again. So to finish the round, we're going to slip stitch by going into that space, pull the yarn through and pull through all the way. And that's round two. Finished. And now on to round three. So we're going to chain four, two for the height and two for the corner. One, two, three, four. We're going to make three stitches in the corner. Oops. One. Two. And three. Then we chain one. And we're going to go into this chain space that we made on round two, that chain one space that we made. So we're going to do three stitches in there. So one, and two, and three. We're then going to chain one. And we're into the corner. So we're going to do three stitches. One. Two. And three. So we make the chain two. One, 
to that lets us turn around onto the next edge so we make the next three stitches in that corner one two and three chain one and into the next chain space we're going to do three more stitches one two three chain one and into the corner one two stitch didn't really work so one two and three chain two one two and then three more stitches in the corner one two and three chain one and into the next chain space one two and three chain one and into the next corner three stitches chain two three stitches so one two, three, chain two, one, two and three more stitches, one, two and three, chain one and into the next chain space, one, two and three chain one and you'll see we're now at the um end of the row we've got this one more corner to finish so we've done three stitches and then there's our chain where we began so we're going to do three stitches in there yeah not in there so we're going to do one two and then three and we're going to slip stitch into the chain space so go in through the chain space pull the yarn through and then through oops through the loop on your hook and that's the end of round three yeah and we're going to start round Four. So you can keep going for as long as you want with this granny square or you can stop and start another one and make lots of little ones. Um, the first project I did was I made a big blanket that was just one massive granny square. Yeah. So to start round four, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And we're in the corner, so we're going to make... Uh, four, uh, three stitches, one, two, and three. We're going to chain one and go into the chain space. So, one, two, And three, chain one. Let me just. So into the next chain space. I've already done my chain one. So one, two, and three. Chain 
one and we're into the next corner so we're going to do three stitches chain two three stitches so if you're a young Sheldon fan you may have noticed Mima has a big granny square blanket on the back of her sofa and that is just one big granny square so it's just this for lots and lots of rounds so remember chain two and then three more stitches in the corner and we do that in all the corners chain one and then into the next space three stitches and maybe you've started to notice the pattern and I've got the written pattern um, and the diagram in a blog post, I'll put the link in the description below. Chain one and into the next space, three stitches. Chain one at the end, let me just adjust myself. And then we're into the corner and we're going to do three stitches, chain two, three stitches. So one. Two. And three. Chain two, one, two, and then three more stitches. One. Oops, two and three. Chain one, three stitches in the next chain space. So we just go round and round. If you do make a, a big granny square, you might want to chain, turn your work around every now and then so it doesn't sort of go out of shape. chain one in between each granny group except for the corners is chain two so I'm into the next corner so I'm going to do my three stitches chain two three stitches don't worry if um, you look back on your work and you've noticed you've got groups with only two stitches or groups with um, four stitches I did that when I was learning but it's really good for the muscle memory just to make these stitches these us doubles uk trebles so chain one before you hop along to the next chain space yeah and then it's always three stitches And then we're nearly, I'm nearly back at the corner. You can always pause or go back and forth. And I'll put method B in the description below. So I'm back at the end. So I'm going to do my three stitches. One, two, two and three and then we're going to slip stitch into the chain space and we're done so that's four rounds yeah let me just pull that out and if you need to uh you know if you've made quite a few rounds and you want to know which round you're on you can count how many groups you've got on each edge so along the top we can see we've got one two three four along the bottom we've got one two three four so we know we're on round four yeah and I'll see you in the next video